There's two iodine atoms. Wait, wait, so, so it's B. Got a weird number of two. Mg plus two. Wouldn't it be two I because the the whatever, I can't remember what it's called. The co is the coefficient, it says how many whatever is there are. Yeah, that's how many what I just said. But it goes in the whatever. Front of it. How many? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does, right? I thought it went in front of it. I, oh, I know. I don't care. Anyway. So, what is that? It's the co. No, I don't know what that. I forget what that number's called. Is that the coefficient? The coefficient is the big one to the left. Yeah. That, that tells how many. It does tell how many atoms. The sub uh, subscript. There you go. Now, will you uh, show me what you did with this compound? Yeah, we. For the people at home. Magnesium had two and then oh, I did that wrong but the magnesium has two and then it transfers the electrons and it becomes a bond and it gives the electrons to iodine so it has they both have happy shells full shells of electrons specifically an ionic sign right okay good now I'll write your equation so it'd be two positive, <coughs> one negative for each of the uh, iodines. Can you can we just do like the two minus and then a two down here? You certainly could. I would also consider it to be correct if you did I one negative plus I one negative, as long as it's correct in your final form. Okay. Either way is correct. So that's what we're going to name it. We do the back, right? We do the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, since this has like two, would you put two right here too? You would because that's, these are the two that form the bonds and they're going to be over here as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. The only thing that changes on that side is you take out the plus sign because they're now combined mm -hmm. and it, they canceled each other out so they're neutral now. Okay. The two plus and two minus canceled each other out. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Is it iodide? It is iodide. Oh, okay. uh, all. And then we got oxygen. <laughs> we got six. Two, three, four, five, six. It's slippery, but good enough for me. Come around like that. And then they go kazam. And then we go like. Ionide. Now remember the end of your anion changes to I D E. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here we go. So, so be sodium oxide. Oxide, sorry. Oxide, right, but your iodine one on the last one. That is magnes magnesium iodide. Good. Okay, and this one, I'll let you this That'd be sodium oxide. And then we got Na subscript 2 plus Na subscript 2. Do me a favor. Will you write your oxidation numbers here, please? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 2 plus three. negative. Um, you. Good. N A subscript two O. Good. And what are we gonna call it? Uh, sodium oxide. Very good. Write it. So what's it called? Sodium oxide. Yeah. 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 Cat on. I thought it's by. When we're writing this, um. <laughs> Questions for the people at home. They're not here today, so it oh. always helps. Okay, so like, would you, would you write both of these combined, like two, like when you're writing the oxidation number, like, or would you just write the, just like the each? That's a great question, and you can do it either way. So the way you've done it is correct. You've combined them and said Na with your subscript of two, 
and they're, the oxidation number combined. That's perfect. Some people are doing Na1 positive plus Na1 positive plus O2 negative. Okay. So that's still fine as long as what yields you have your subscript with your okay. with your element symbol in the formula. It doesn't matter okay. on the Thank reaction you. side. Ooh, and this gives me a perfect opportunity to make one correction. Now, remember, once these have chemically reacted, 2 minus 2 does what? Oh, so it like makes it neutral. Correct. Those are going to cancel each other out and become neutral. So the formula itself is Na2O. A resulting compound is neutral. There you go, good girl. And then since it's oxygen, would it be oxide? Yes, ma'am. 